Welcome to Jock Market, the revolutionary daily fantasy platform that turns sports into a stock market. Today, we'll show you how to participate in the cash market where you can buy and sell virtual shares of NFL players in real time for real money. When you sign up, you'll see the home screen with available events. We'll select NFL Week 6 Market. Check out the additional details in the top right corner. You'll notice the rules, the games, and the valuations. The shares will pay out as much as $25 per share for the player with the most fantasy points on the weekend, down to $1 per share for players who rank 60th through 70th. With Jock Market, you don't always want the best players. You're looking for the best value. You can find a lot of value in the IPO stage. The initial player offering is an auction where investors bid for shares of players. In this example, it runs from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern. The live IPO price is shown next to each player along with the corresponding break-even rank. Open up a player card to view news and game logs. Looking at Kyler Murray, you can see how many fantasy points he scored in prior weeks versus his projection. Let's show you how to bid on a player in the IPO stage with Lamar Jackson. It's showing you have to bid more than $4.50 with a suggested price of $7.26. The amount you enter is your max bid. You could end up paying less because the winning price is the minimum needed to cover all shares of each player. This investor bid $8 per share. That implies that his break even is the 15th most fantasy points this weekend. If he's better than the top 15 players, the investor wins money. He bid on seven shares for a total investment of $56.56. He went on to bid on shares of Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and Ezekiel Elliott. While analyzing the positioning of the players in his portfolio using the value calculator, which you can access by tapping on a player's face, this investor was alerted he was outbid for shares of Elliott during the IPO stage. So he hopped back in and raised his bid to $7 per share. He also went on to bid on five shares of Patrick Mahomes before the IPO closed. Once the IPO closes, all shares are distributed to the highest bidders. Now live trading begins with other investors. Place buy orders for shares of players you believe are undervalued. Check out the bid and ask prices next to each player. The bid shows the highest buy offer and the ask the lowest sell offer for each player. This investor jumped at an opportunity in real time during the one o'clock games. Within seconds of Justin Jefferson scoring his final touchdown and surpassing 40 fantasy points, he bought 10 shares of Jefferson from another investor at only $11.40 per share. The seller still made a large return as Jefferson's IPO price was only $3.25, but the return ended up being much greater. Jefferson finished second and paid out $20 per share at the end of the weekend. That netted the buyer an $86 profit on just one player. And in the end, he also had a profit on Julio Jones at $70 profit. Lamar Jackson was plus $45.50. Murray was plus $35. An in-game investment in Phillip Rivers lost $10.60. And Patrick Mahomes was negative $11.25. His biggest loss in the weekend was Ezekiel Elliott, who had a negative return of $32.13. But overall... This jock market investor netted a profit of over $185 for one weekend. And this is Jock Market, where sports becomes a stock exchange. Have any questions? Send an email to support at jockmkt.com.